Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be a quick video to show you how to use the brand new Twilio integration we have on AppSmith. Today's video would be about building a notification system using Twilio's SMS and we're going to be doing that using the Charles Smith application you see right here on the screen. So this is a food delivery app we've built right here on AppSmith. And uh, this is the part of the app, which will be a mobile app dashboard that will be used by the dispatch riders on the platform. So this is Charles Smith right here on the homepage. And we can start an order, for example. And here we have all of the information about the order. And the rider can choose to update the status of an order to rider accepted, um, rider arrived at a restaurant, and all of the various stages in the delivery process. And also we have a tab right here to view all of the past histories of delivered orders. So what we're going to be doing is uh, building a notification system such that whenever the status of an order is updated from one state to the other, the users get an SMS notification and that is where Twilio comes in. So to set this up, we need a Twilio account. Um, you can sign up for free. And once you do, you get a $15 credit. So we're going to be using uh, the Twilio account I already have set up right here. And on the AppSmith side of things, we're going to be using the Twilio integration. All right, so let's head back to AppSmith and let's us create a new data source and scroll down to Twilio right here. Uh, by the way, the Twilio integration is very new. So we only have SMS support at the moment, but you can expect to see more features added in the coming months. So let's call this Twilio, all right? And for the authentication type, this is going to be basic auth. And here is where we would need to fill in our credentials. So for the account SID, I can directly grab that from my account info dashboard. So I'm just going to copy this over, head back here, and let's paste this in. And we can head back to grab the um, auth token. So I can copy this over and also paste this in right here. So I'm going to click on the save button and here we can create a new API using the Twilio integration. So let's call this send notification. All right, this looks good. And for the command, we are going to set this to create a message. And here's where we can fill in other details required to send a message. So here again, we need to also reuse the account SID. So I'm just going to head back to the dashboard, grab the account SID one more time, head back to AppSmith, and paste this in and we are good to go. So we need to head back to Twilio and set things up so that we have an SMS service and also a phone number to send SMS with. So let's head back to the dashboard and here I'm just going to create a new Twilio phone number. Um, in case you don't have this flash screen train up, you can always go to the drop down um, in the sidebar menu here and go to manage and create a new phone number. But I'm just going to be using the button right here and we would get assigned a phone number. All right, now we have a phone number and we can go on to create an SMS service using that phone number. So I'm just going to head back here to messaging. Let's go to services. And we're going to create a new messaging service. So for the service name, I'm going to call this Charles Smith, which is really cool. And uh, we want to use this message for notifying users or this service for notifying users. I'm going to click on create a messaging service. Uh, now, this is where we get to add what phone numbers we want to add to the pool of uh, senders. So let's go select the phone number we had created previously. So I'm going to set this to phone number, click on continue. And here I'm going to select my phone number that was just created and click on add phone number. All right. And now we can go on to um, set up the integration. Here's where we can specify all the parameters for the integration, such as what happens when we receive an SMS using the configured phone number. I'm just going to leave all the defaults as is and let's click on add compliance info. And I'm just going to click on complete messaging service setup and we are good to go. So we can click on try sending a message and this is just going to bring up a screen that allows us to test the message service using um, the REST API. But since we're using the Twilio integration, 
We can directly head back to the messaging service. So let's head back to services right here and get the account SID or the messaging SID. So we have that right here, the messaging SID. So I'm just going to copy this over. And here's where we can use the messaging SID. So we can either use the phone number we have configured, and this is just going to restrict the sending pool to that specific number, or we can paste in our, our messaging service SID here and let Twilio figure out which number to use for us. And this is very useful in cases where we want to be able to send out SMS using multiple phone numbers. So here we have the two phone number. Actually, this should be the phone number of the customer we want things to be sent to. So let's grab that from list one that selected item dot phone. And this is where we can paste in either the Twilio phone number or the messaging service SID. So I have that right here. And then for the body, we can say update on your other. We can say other status and grab the current order status from select one the selected option value. All right, and uh, this looks good, this looks good. So we can head back to hook this up to the UI. I'm just going to head back to the UI. And here, whenever the update status button is clicked on, we want to run the um, send notification query that is set up using the Twilio integration. So for the action, let's execute the query and this is going to be send notification. And when that's done, we want to show a message to know if it is successful or not. So we can say message, we can say um, updates, sent, and set the message type to success. And here we're good to go. So for this particular user with this particular phone number, we're going to say the order has been accepted. And we can click on the update status and that is going to send out an SMS to the user. And we can see we have the message here saying that the update is sent. So if we head back to Twilio and we go to the phone numbers section and we go to active phone numbers. If we take a look at the phone number we have set up, uh, which is this one right here, and look at the messaging log, we should be able to see that we have some messages being sent out using this phone number. So I'm going to click on messaging log and here you can see that we have this SMS sent out. Right now it says the status is filled because this is not a real phone number, it's actually a dummy phone number, but we know that this integration works and we're able to send out an SMS. All right, so that has been it using the Twilio integration. Please let us know your thoughts on the Twilio integration. And if you'd love to learn more, we made a video right here on using the SMTP integration, which is used for sending out emails. And uh, we made a video right here to set up custom authentication using Superbase. I highly recommend you check either of these videos out. All right, that'll be all for today. See, I'll see you next time. Take care. Don't forget to get subscribed and peace out. Bye-bye.